Hi there. So in this video, I just want to uh, do a bit more on the sort of randomness um, generation of, of values using um, random values, which are often needed in sort of testing and sort of other reasons. So um, I just thought I'd just push it a bit more. It also shows you a bit more of uh, Python in ArcGIS Pro uh, and the sort of power behind um, behind the uh, calculate field option. So what I'm going to do is create a field in this existing uh, feature class. Uh, this is just a GeoDataSpace um, feature, uh, point feature. It's these uh, pubs in Leicester, as you can see. Um, but the main thing I'm going to be, do the things I'm going to be doing uh, in this video are going to be about the data. So I'm going to add a field which is going to store a random value. And I'm going to mess about with options on the random value to sort of randomize on string as well as um, text and punctuation, that sort of thing. So something that you could actually use as a sort of password generator, really, um, in Python. In Python. So I'm going to go to Data Design Fields, and I'm going to add a new field, and I'm going to call it Random What's It, whatever that is. It's text, and let's say it's ten characters is enough. Okay, for the purposes of this. So let's hit Save at the top. So it's very simple. New field. Let's close that. You'll see it appear here at the end and it's null. Nulls are allowed. If I right click on that, I go to calculate field. So, what do I want to uh, do here? Let's just um, get rid of what I actually had before. Oh, I can just press that. Just press that eraser picture to clear everything. Um, Trying to grab the corner of this actually. There we go. Um, so, um, the, the first thing I'll do is just show you how to select a random value from a, an existing string. So, uh, I'm going to put in a code block. You see, it's got um, uh, at the top here, at the very top, it warns you this tool modifies the input table. Yep, that's, that's true. I could enable undo so I could uh, roll back if I want to. The, um, I'll leave it. So I'm going to update that field, random what's it. Uh, it's Python. I'm not using Arcade. It's Python. And uh, what I'm going to do actually is just set a, um, a, a code block here. Like I said, I want to pick up a pick out a pick out a value. Let's say red, green, blue. And I'm going to randomly choose one of those three to populate that field. So it's red, green, blue as colors. So what we um, can do is say random what's it equals get um, color value so that's what it's going to be and then I just need to define get color value in in the code block um, and then it's a colon at the end there's an indent and my color list equals red in quotes in square brackets green in quotes and blue uh, close the square brackets and then I shall uh, use what's called the random choice function uh, but it's from a module which I need to import and that's the random module so I'm going to put at the top there import random so I'm going to use something I'm going to use choice random dot choice from random that's why I need to put that in by default it effectively won't be there. So I'm going to say that my color value, any old um, uh, variable there, is random.choice and as expected it's color list. Okay, um, so color value now has a random value from red, green, either red or green or blue. And now I'm going to return color value. So random what's it equals color value. Let's just, um, if you make this a bit bigger, if you don't see the tick mark and all this stuff, you may need to resize the um, dialogue a bit. I find that happens quite a bit actually. Anyway, I'll click verify, expression is valid, that's good, it's not very complicated, so that's good news. And now I'm gonna say, okay. Now, in ran random what's it, you can see green, blue, red, you see how it's just picked out one of the values from that hard-coded string, and, and off it goes. 
I mean, that, that, that hard code, that, that string could have come from a mix of values from the table or, or dictionary or whatever, whatever. This is just to show you a method, um, a fairly straightforward method of, of randomizing some values. So it's so each of these pubs is either red, green or blue. Um, let's go back to calculate field. If I just double click on the um, sort of white top with the windows bar on calculate field, it will um, explode the window. What I want to do now is instead of picking out one of these colors, I just want to pick out a letter, uppercase or lowercase from A to Z. Um, or for our American friends watching, A to Z. So um, it'll be uh, one of those is what I want to randomize. So what I'll do here, I will change the def. So let's say, let's call, just call that get left. Oh, I'm gonna type in here, get letter. Okay. And then, um, so let's change the def emission to get letter. And then what we need to do here is uh, pick out a random letter how good my variable names are eh? equals again it's random choice again I'm using that choice function there but this time I'm setting a string value uh, which is which is sort of um, key word let's call it it's in build um, and it's from the module um, string so I need to add import string in order to bring it in so uh, now I'm I've imported the random module and the string module and the string module contains various little sort of functions um, to bring back lists of numbers letters and uh, um, forcing caps and all this sort of thing so um, so that's why I can say this I can say string dot ASCII letters ASCII letters will bring back upper and lowercase um, letters so I return a random letter tick hopefully that's okay yep let's press okay and now these should be a b c's whatever to z but lowercase and upper you see so i've got all these lower and upper cases all in that field okay well let's do another just again just to show you um, you can push it a bit further um all we'll do is i'm going to do a copy and paste and change ascii letters to punctuation See, string dot punctuation. It's all the same stuff. For now, it's going to bring back what you expect, punctuation, you see. So now, it's filled with all these punctuation characters. And yes, the final thing we'll do is combine them all. And I'll just very quickly show you one method. There's a few methods of doing this. You can use join and stuff, maybe create a dictionary, all that sort of thing. But this isn't a Python lesson, really. It's just to get, get you going, something that could be useful in your GIS work. So. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste this to save. Um, I'll, I'll um, uh, let's say I'll replace all that, and I'll say I'll leave it as get letter, get letter. It doesn't matter. So, what am I doing here? I'm using random dot choice to pick out ASCII letters. That's all my upper and lower case um, letters. I'm using Random dot choice string dot punctuation to pick out all my punctuations exclamation mark question marks all that stuff and I've added a third one here that I hadn't used um, before that's dot choice that's string dot digits there's actually hexadecimals as well uh, to make it even more complicated if you want you know hex digits but um, we'll just use digits which yes are numbers and you can imagine that this now is going to return I'll, I'll just tick validate this yeah it's all good this is going to return a a letter followed by punctuation followed by a number but I could I could of course alter this I could say that uh, uh, a number is always in the middle so oh, what am I doing I don't think I'm not a number is always in the middle is where I concatenate them not where I populate the, the variable obviously so by by altering these what, what becomes before and after the plus signs I can you know change to what I want. So now there's going to be a letter, there's going to be a number, and there's going to be punctuation. Let's press OK. 
And there you go, a letter, a number in the middle, and some kind of punctuation at the end. And by exploring all that sort of power, etc., you can create all kinds of you know uniqueness and and test code. And there's other tests you could do and um, on on these values to um, further you know to, to to make them more more complicated if if you really need. Uh, because this is certainly the path to sort of generating a, a, a password, for example, uh, or just generating some random values that will be useful in your GIS workflow. I hope you find that useful. Thank you.